let me give you a, an overview of the directory structure that I'm using or folder structure. I want to go to my home, to the home menu, so shift home, and you'll see I have two things, SLC, which is my initials, and CST, which is the custom menu that we're going to get to. When you go into SLC, you see three folders. We have an equations folder, EQS, we have a programs folder, PRGM, and a VARS folder, VARS. All right, I thought it might be helpful also to just show it to you this way. So I have a little diagram here, home, and then you see off of home you have SLC and CST, SLC, CST, and then we have our equations, program, and VARS. Let's say I do a lot of simultaneous equation solving, and I like to use REF, reduced row echelon form, to solve them. I know that sounds complicated, but once you've used it one time, it's easy. So let's say this is our equation here. So we have 2x plus 1y equals 3, and 7x minus 5y equals 10, and we want to solve that. So you enter the matrix that way, and the bummer is you have to go, you have to hit math, and then you have to go into matrix, then you have to go into factor, and then there's RF. And we can get our answer there. That's a pain. It's too many menus to go through. So that's my compelling reason for wanting to assign RF to a custom menu. So let me show you how to do that. All right, here we go. Generic CST setup. So this is the overall structure of a custom menu. Start with a curly brace, then another curly brace in quotes, whatever you want to show up in the custom menu. So I'm just calling it wow. And then another curly brace here, the program symbol, and then whatever the program is. So in this case, it's a one-step program. It just um, this is what you're going to do when this menu item is selected. So in this case it just runs poly root. And you can see then we just close out our program symbol and the rest of our curly uh, brackets. What goes inside the program brackets can get rather involved. Okay, so we want to set up a custom menu that will run RREF for us. Okay, so let's get our RREF set up so that it appears in our custom menu. So we start with a set of curly brackets and then inside that we're going to now put our name that we wish to appear on the menu, in the custom menu. And we put another set of curly braces here and our program. This is what we want the calculator to do when the RREF key is picked on the custom menu. And in that case it's really simple. We want it to run the command RREF. We don't have to worry about putting in a folder or anything. It will, because it's a built-in command, it'll run from anywhere. We put that on the stack. I should point out we're in the home menu here. So we're in home, you want to be in the home menu, otherwise this won't work right when you do a custom menu. And we want to put in CST, and we're going to store into that. Now when we hit CST here, we see RF. And the menu system can only display uppercase characters. That actually is lowercase RREF. Go to custom, and all I have to do is hit this button, and I get my answer. So that's a beautiful thing because it saves me from surfing through a bunch of menus and forgetting where things are. Now let's shift gears and let's look at using the solver. And let's say, let's make it really simple. Let's say we just want to solve 3 times x. So I use the purple solve and I go into the solver. And then you have to know to hit root. Then you can you need to store that into this EQ, which you use the purple key and hit EQ. Then I go into the solver, and sure enough, there's my equation, and I can put values in like 77 for x, 
and then hit expression and it gives me my answer. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a quicker way of getting to that solver and storing your equation? I need to go home into my directory and into programs and I have a program here called solver. If I just hit it, it'll run. So I, I want to look at it. So I put a quote, or whatever you call that, single quote. Put solver, and then I'm going to recall it. Green recall. And that shows you the contents of it. When we run this SLVR program, what it does is first it starts at home, goes into SLC, and then goes into the VARS folder. So it's just navigating to this directory or folder. And the reason I'm doing that is because when you use the solver, the variables that you use end up getting thrown into whatever current directory you're in. It stores the equation that's on the stack, and then 30 menu just means start the solver. You might wonder, well, why wouldn't I just add solver or solve just like I added RREF? And the answer is because they're different. RREF is a what I'll call built-in function, whereas solve is a executable. It's like a it's a program that's built into the calculator. So they are treated differently. Let's add that program then to the custom menu. Here's our cust CST variable. This is where our custom this is what drives our custom menu. We're going to go in here, we're going to recall it, and we're going to modify it. Purple, edit. All right, so I want to be right here. And we're going to add another list here. So we do that. Put the name that we want. This is how it will be displayed in the custom menu. And now we've got to tell it what it calculator needs to do when we push that hotkey or that menu key. So it's going to, when I hit the solve key, it's going to go to the program directory and run that solver. We need to save it again. I'm going to overwrite the old one, put that there. We're going to store what we just created back into that CST variable. Now when we go to the custom menu, we have two choices, our original RREF and this solver, or solve, that we just created. Let's use 37 times X just so we can tell that it worked. Put that on the stack. You actually can just hit the key right away, but enter it on the stack. When we hit solve, it starts the solver. All of the variables, here I've just been using X, but what's great is all of them end up just being dumped into this VARS folder. If I had it typed in like that, and I did want to put that in the solver, I would just hit custom and pick solver. And we put that in there and start the solver. But wouldn't it be better if we could have that also in our custom menu? And obviously we can. Or would I have brought it up? That would have been really embarrassing, putting myself on the spot. All right, so let's take and create a custom menu item that puts the law of cosines equation on the stack and then starts the solver. So again, what this is doing, surfing to the right directory, doing LOC, which will put the law of cosines equation on the stack. And then I need to start the solver. Think about what's going on. All we're saying is create a new custom menu item called LOC. When that menu item is selected, go to the equation folder under that geometry subfolder put the LOC equation on the stack and then start or then surf to the program folder and start the solver so and just save this put it in custom and now when we go into our custom menu we have a third option law of cosines when you hit law of cosines now it should 
it grabs the law of cosines, put it on the stack, it started the solver and took us right into it. This custom menu thing is a beautiful thing. And I think if you set things up in a logical way, it really can save you time. And hope it's been beneficial. Thanks for watching.